I'm not going to start until you're smiling because you're always making a weird face. Oh, what is crawling on me? <laughs> oh my god, this is the crawling. <sighs> Bugs. packed up to leave <sighs> this is what we look like the first time before we go camping i've been camping but it's been many many moons i was a boy scout when i was little hannah's literally never slept overnight in a tent I... at 33 years old i'm telling you she's never slept overnight in a tent I check with my parents i think maybe it's once or twice but okay well if you don't remember it it didn't happen just say you don't remember what it was like if you don't remember it even happened so it's like, at least it's like you've never slept in a tent. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if I'm looking forward to it or not. Boy Scouts knowledge coming in handy. Hey y'all. Hey. I'm Hannah. And I'm Jeremy. And we are the Savory Suitcase. Yeah. And we are in Kissimmee Prairie Preserve State Park. Yeah. This is our very first time camping. And this is the only registered dark sky area in the state of Florida. So what is a dark sky? Uh, it is where you can see stars. Think it is an IDA certified dark sky. I think the only one in Florida. The only one, yes, the only one in Florida. And there's obviously a lot out, out in the western part of the country, in Colorado, Where places like that. Where there's less light pollution. Um, but basically what it is, is it's it's preserved. Um, there are laws and regulations and stuff that preserve this area specifically for its um, optimal viewing of galactic things, stars and galaxies and things like that. So um, there's a lot of light restrictions. There's rules and regulations to follow with red light and white light and times and all this yeah, crazy stuff. Yeah, we even saw a sign on the way in that said to dim your headlights. Turn your headlights off as you're coming, coming in. in. Yeah, because so. any of that white light um, pollution can prevent people who are out there taking photos or looking with telescopes from actually being able to see it. But because of where we are, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's zero light pollution. So nighttime here is going to be really dark. Yeah, we're hoping to maybe we only have our phones and kind of an old DSLR camera with us. We're going to try and get we're some cool try shots. try and do some nighttime photography, but we're not experts. So, yeah. so head on over to our Instagram page. We're going to post those pictures oh, yeah. there. So check them out there. I'm sure we'll make a post and a story about those. So check it out. Yeah. They do also typically run uh, buggy rides that you can take mm -hmm. and explore the prairie area, uh, but they are canceled right now due to COVID, which wah, wah. totally makes sense. So yeah. uh, there is a trail near the campgrounds as well. So we're going to try and maybe take that trail tomorrow morning, explore the grassland area a little maybe bit. We can take Hank. Yeah. My parents are coming. They have an RV as well. So well, they're renting an RV to see if it's something they might like to do. But we are going to plan to go stargazing this evening. It should maybe be a clear night and the moon is like half full. So not yeah. ideal conditions. So our um, so at the campsite where we're at, so we're in an RV spot, but where you, you can do bring an RV or you can have tents. And it looks like it seems like there's there's multiple combinations of different things. Um, so Hannah's parents and I and us and we we and Hannah's parents will be in the same slab, Site. the same area. So their RV will be next to us and our tent is uh, 
pitched behind the car here. Um, and we're actually very close to the astronomy pad. So there's actually, a, it's over. It's behind the bathroom. Over there somewhere. <laughs> so we, um, we're gonna walk over there a little bit later, obviously when it gets dark. Here comes mom and dad. Hi, this is Hank. Oh, buddy. <laughs> this is Hank. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We decided to grab some firewood. Uh, it's not really cold. I mean, maybe by Florida standards, it's a little cold, but it just seems like the thing to do. So we're gonna make a little fire. We don't have any s'mores stuff either. So I feel like I'm unprepared for camping. Maybe next time. One of the rules of the dark sky is that you only can use a uh, red lamp. So we got our red light. We're gonna walk over to the astronomy pad and see if we can see any like really big telescopes. I think that would be cool. So we went out stargazing at about 9.30 uh, and it turns out the moon uh, was about half full. Uh, so it was a little difficult to little see bright. the stars. Yeah. Um, so the moon setting, moon set, not moon. sunset, but the moon set is 12.01 a.m. Yeah. So currently we're at 10.50, 10.51 right now. Um, and I just walked out to the area, the gazing area, and uh, it looks a lot better. So we're gonna go check it out and try and get some more photos. but. Uh, camera noise yeah. that was my first um my first edited photo from our star gazing i did it edited it right on my phone so it's not perfect but we got some good shots already holy cow so hopefully let's see if we can get a, a, another few good ones yeah. red lights on wait hold on oh oh no white light <gasps> yeah now we're ready red lights on <laughs> y'all we saw some amazing stars tonight but we're now having the debate is this glamping or is this camping jeremy says the fact that we have power to power our cpaps and our phones and our phones makes this glamping and my smartwatch and all the other powered things but i said we are legit sleeping on air mattresses so that makes this camping. I, I mean, mean, we're, air mattresses we're in a, a tent, tent on the ground. On the ground. Leave us a comment down below. Is this camping? Is glamping where you have like a real mattress and there's air conditioning? See you tomorrow.
think we figured out where the trailhead is. But we'll see. Good morning. Um, somebody's jogging or something. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, but we came out here. We decided to just take a little walk around the park this morning. Uh, the trail we were going to go on said no pets, so we couldn't take Hank with us. But we found the area by the Astro Pad. Um, it's really beautiful out here. Really. I guess it is the plains area of Florida because it is as far as the eye can see. Oh, there's a hawk. Oh, and other birds. Oh, can you see? Oh, that was crazy. So I think we got some really amazing photos. Uh, we're gonna head back to the campsite and uh, cook some breakfast. We do have to move campsites for the night. We ended up booking two separate reservations. I don't know, it's complicated. Our lives are crazy, so. <laughs> um, but, you know, we're just gonna kind of enjoy the day and see, it's a little hazy, kind of overcast. It did rain a little bit this morning, but that was sort of calming to hear the rain on the tent and it was actually really enjoyable, so. Let's see, is he on his way back? Yeah, looks like they're coming back, so we'll see you for breakfast. Well, this wasn't really how we were expecting to leave Kissimmee Prairie uh, Preserve State Park. <laughs> Lots <laughs> of words. Gotta say the whole name. Uh, but Jeremy, uh, as you guys, some of you may know, is a school teacher uh, and does teach in person and got a call from his principal that one of his students uh, tested positive. So we are going quarantine it is. into a two-week quarantine. So um, Ending a night early. Missed out. Yeah. I mean, we did get to see some really great stars last night. Uh, we got some cool shots that... We're going to spend this week off Enjoy editing, editing and trying to perfect them. Um, you know, so, and this is Thanksgiving week too. So yeah. this means, uh, you know, unfortunately we have to cancel all of our plans with our family, which was we, minimal to begin yeah, with. Yeah, we but, were only going to do just an outside small gathering. But, and my you nephew's know, birthday, he turns two this Friday, so we won't get to see him either. To be safe than sorry at this point. Yep. So. Uh, we're going to err on the side of caution always. Try and do some Zoom meetings, I think, and, and see if we can be there virtually. Yep. But, you know, uh, we, we do film a lot of our stuff in advance, so um, you guys mil will still see videos from us. And I actually think that this one will be coming out in uh, early January, so by mm -hmm. that point, our quarantine will be over. Long over. Uh, just, you know, do know that we do take uh, oh, yeah. COVID very seriously. We wear our masks uh, in, in any time we are in contact with other people. Uh, it, except for, you know, between the two of us. Uh, and we're very cautious when we see our, our friends and family. Uh, I mean, yep. maybe we'll pinch the tent in the backyard. Yeah, what else What else are we going to do? Finish our camping trip. Maybe get some lunch meat turkey delivered or something. Yeah. I don't know. We'll I don't see. Know, Boston Market, right? Yeah, yeah. We're chicken. supposed to be a cooking channel. Why don't we just uh, cook Thanksgiving? Yeah, well, yeah. Well. <laughs> 
and everybody else is supposed to bring stuff. So, yeah. yeah. All right, well. All right, you guys, so that brings us to the end. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, to follow us on our future adventures, and we really appreciate having you guys as followers, as always. Yeah, and let us know if you'd like to see more camping videos. Yeah. Uh, because we Any suggestions in the, in the Central Florida, North, South Florida area, let us know down in the comments below where we yeah, should go. we enjoyed it enough that we booked another trip, so you'll be to seeing see that. Very Some soon. Floaty potatoes. Yeah, manatees. Manatees. All right, bye, y'all. See ya.